to this module on OCI compartments. My name is Rohit Rahi and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. So compartment is a collection of rela related resources like VCN, compute instances, database instances that can be accessed only by groups that have been given permissions by an, for example, by an admin in your organization. Compartments, the whole idea of compartments is to help you organize and control access to your resources. So what are some of the design considerations? Now, as we saw at the beginning of this uh, lecture series, each resource belongs to a single compartment. So you cannot have a resource living in two compartments. It's a logical place where, where, the, where the resource lives. But resources can be connected, shared uh, across compartments, right? So a VCN uh, and the subnet, which is a section, which is a component of the VCN, can actually live in different compartments. That's completely supported. A uh, compartment you can delete uh, after you create, or you could rename the compartments. Uh, compartment can have sub compartments, which can up to which can be up to six levels deep. Most resources can be moved to a different compartment after they are created though some restrictions uh, do apply. And again, you can check documentation on what some of those restrictions are. After creating a compartment, you need to write at least one policy for it. Uh, otherwise, it cannot be accessed. Uh, of course, uh, the admins who have created the compartment can access it, uh, or uh, users who have permissions to the tenancy can access it. But to really make it useful, you need to write a policy uh, against the compartment. And uh, sub compartments, which are, you know, we said can be six level deep, uh, inherit access permissions from compartments uh, higher up its hierarchy and again we'll look into a module on, on this specifically uh, and when you create a policy we looked into it in the previous module uh, you need, need to specify which compartment uh, you uh, you have to uh, which compartment it uh, attaches to so what happens when you sign up for oracle cloud infrastructure for the first time right so there is this concept of tenancy which is nothing but your account and you get this thing called a root compartment and think about root compartment as sort of the the parent compartment for all your other compartments you are going to create yourself so root is something which we create uh, and uh, we we also create a default administrator for the account and there is also a group called administrators default group called administrators you cannot delete this group and there must be at least one user in it um, you can add users you can remove users but at any given time it needs at least one user it seems again very logical if you if you add more than one users in here remember that they are part of the administrators group so they have access just by virtue of being present there they have full access to all the resources now what kind of policy would you write in a remember we talked about users belong to groups uh, and they are useful belong because they have a policy what kind of policy would you write for the administrators group this is the policy you would write allow group administrators to manage all resources in tenancy again you cannot delete this policy it's by default uh, there uh, it cannot change it also uh, and this is called the tenancy policy and we'll, we'll look into this in in the console now as i said root is something we create root compartment and it's think about this as a parent of every compartment out there now you could nothing stops you from putting all your resources in the root compartment you could do that uh, but the best practice is to create dedicated compartments uh, when you need to isolate resources because remember the whole idea of compartment is to isolate your resources so if you put everything in root it defeats the purpose of creating compartments in the first place now there is this new uh, capability called compartment uh, quotas now compartment quotas are similar to service limit so service limit basically means when you create your get an uh, account um, this is again very common to all the clouds uh, we have specific limits in place uh, like how many compute instances you can create uh, and so on and so forth and you can uh, you can contact oracle and we will change if you have a valid need uh, we can obviously increase your service limits but there is this concept called compartment quota very similar to service limit uh, but the difference is that service limits are set by Oracle like I said and compartment quotas are set by your own admins using policies now why would you do that there's a good example here suppose you you want to use bare metal instances uh, but these are expensive so you don't want this to be used in your tenancy 
meaning if you have this tendency across multiple you know you have a multiple usage in multiple regions worldwide you want to restrict the bare metal usage let's say to a specific region so what you could do is you could write compartment uh, quota policies here uh, something like this uh, which allows uh, only people in the uh, in in users in the phoenix region uh, to use uh, bare metal instances other regions are uh, zeroed out so how do you set these uh, compartment uh, quotas very simple uh, you have policies uh, you you use quota policies and you have these keywords like set you set the maximum number of resources you want unset you reset the quota to the default service limits and you zero it uh, zero meaning you remove access to a cloud resource for a compartment or a tendency so for example here you say zero compute quotas and you have this keyword here bm bare metal in tenancy meaning you have you zeroed out bare metal instances so nobody could create a bare metal instance in your tenancy but then you are overriding this for the phoenix region by setting a compute quota to five for bare metal instances where request dot region and we looked into this in the advanced i am policy uh, if you want to restrict, uh, make it policies more conditional, you could have request and target. So you could say request dot region, uh, and the region is uh, US Phoenix one. And this way, this way, only users in US Phoenix one can use uh, bare metal instances. Other users in other regions will have access to no bare metal instances. So uh, before we go into the next module, let's jump into the console and let's look into some of the uh, capabilities around compartments. So if I come back here, uh, this, we were using this, uh, this um, uh, you know, user, we had a specific user and uh, we created a group and we created a policy in the previous modules. So let me just go and talk about compartments here. So first thing I'll click on identity access management menu. I see the compartment here. So you can see here, this is my root compartment. And remember, this is my tenancy, right? INT, Oracle, Rohit. And if you can see here, first thing it says some compartments 15. So what this means is I have 15 compartments here and these compartments are all part of my uh, parent compartment here, the, the root compartment, right? So that is what it's, it's being showing here. Now, most of these have no sub compartments, but this one here, training compartment, if I click on training, you can see it has training sub compartment level one and it has level two. So it has, you know, two levels deep uh, and remember the compartments can be six level deep, right? So, so these compartments are there. Now there's also this capability called uh, compartment explorer. So if I go into governance and click on compartment explorer, you can see uh, the various compartments appear on the left hand side. And if I click on this training compartment here, I can bring up specific resources here. Now, this is very useful because if I'm, um, you know, compartments um, can have, you know, many resources, hundreds or even thousands of resources, uh, this view here uh, is, is really good because it lets me see uh, at a glance what is available in my uh, compartments. So if I just click on, let's say, the, the training um, sub-compartment one, I can see that it has a virtual cloud network, uh, it has three subnets, uh, and route table and a security list, right? And it also has the the training uh, the sub compartment too, right? And and the sub compartment too has no uh, items here, right? So uh, this is this is sort of you know this view helps. Now we wrote a policy here in the previous um, uh, in the previous um, module. We could actually extend this policy, and we could write a policy here. Uh, the previous policies were uh, all written for uh, the tenancies, but we could write a policy in the compartment. Um, and I need to go back and okay, I have probably remember a particular compartment here. So we could say something like allow group training group to manage instance family in compartment production. And there's a compartment called production and I can add this statement. Now, if I log in as that particular user, the training user one, uh, and I go back to this uh, menu, first look at compute here. Earlier, I could only see the root compartment, if you guys remember from the previous module. But now if I go here, I can see all the compartments. And I, if I click on production, I could literally create an instance here. Now it's likely I don't have a uh, virtual network here, but let's see if I can see if there's a virtual network here. And click create. 
and this should let me uh, as bingo there you go it lets me create an instance in the production uh, compartment and if I remove that policy uh, I cannot create an instance in the production compartment so this quickly shows you uh, you know you compartments it's a logical place where you keep your resources you write your policies against those compartments and then your users can start using this uh, the, the the specific uh, compartments thank you so much for joining this lecture if you have some time please join the next lecture where we look into more uh, complex scenarios around uh, policy inheritance uh, uh, and and uh, an attachment and what happens uh, if when you when you move resources across compartments thank you